Hey guys, if you are new, welcome. I upload every Monday and Thursday, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm gonna start doing a series of how-to videos. So today I'm first gonna start off with how to apply foundation for beginners. If you are a beginner trying to learn makeup, I've got some tips for you. Before applying foundation, you definitely want to wash your face and then put on a moisturizer that works with your skin type. It's important to wash your face because you want to have a clean canvas for all your makeup. Makeup is art and therefore your face is the canvas. So you want your canvas to be clean and nice. After you wash your face, put on a moisturizer for your skin type. If you have oily skin, you're gonna want to have a moisturizer that controls your oils but doesn't dry you out. And if you have dry skin, you're gonna want to have a richer moisturizer that hydrates your skin as long as possible. Moisturizing your face is also important because then it leaves a smoother canvas and it hydrates your skin. Makeup has a lot of chemicals and bad stuff in it, unfortunately, which is why you should never sleep with your makeup on. The moisturizer will act as a barrier and hydrate your skin throughout the day. Once you have finished washing your face and then putting on a moisturizer and whatever other skin routine things you have going on, once you're done with all that, then you add a primer. There are two kinds of primers that I'm going to mention for beginners. I mean, there's many different types of primers, but I'm gonna simplify it for you guys so that there's only two that you should remember. One is for oily skin and one is for dry skin. And if you have oily skin, you're gonna want a mattifying primer. This is going to control your oils and it's gonna make you look less shiny, less oily throughout the day and your makeup is gonna look a little more flawless. If you have dry skin, you're going to want a foundation that gives you some dewiness. You don't want to look matte, you don't want to look dry. So you're going to want to use a dewy primer that gives you like a glow since you already have dry skin. Oily skin people have that oily glow, whereas dry skinned people have that dullness because their skin is dry. So those are the two that you should remember if you are a beginner. It just makes things easier. That's not to say that oily skinned people can't use dewy primers or that dry skinned people can't use matte primers. It's just that the mattifying primers will work better if you have oily skin and the illuminating dewy primers will be better for drier skin. You can try to see which one works best for your skin, but typically mattifying primers work best for oily skin and dewy illuminating primers work best for dry skin. If you have combination skin, obviously there are primers for those, but try to figure out which one you are. Most people lean more towards one than the other. For example, I have combination skin, but I am more oily, so I go towards mattifying primers. A good primer for both skin types is the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. In my opinion, I really, really, really love this as a primer. This is obviously not meant to be a primer, but I believe Nikki Tutorials was the first one to use this as a face primer and I love it and it's super cheap. I think it's like six dollars. So you just want to take a little bit of primer onto your fingers and then rub it all over your face, avoiding your eyes because you should have a different eye primer. The skin around your eyes, including your eyelids, are very sensitive and so you should always use products specific to the eyes for your eyes. Once you have rubbed all that in, you can now move on to foundation. Obviously, you're going to want to pick a foundation that works with your skin tone and your skin type. Again, if you have oily skin, pick a matte foundation, and if you have dry skin, pick a dewy foundation or an illuminizing foundation. I am going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. I hear mixed reviews about this for oily skin, but it works really well for my oily skin, so I'm going to use that. There are two ways that you can apply foundation. One is with a beauty sponge, the other is with brushes. And I have two different kinds of brushes. One is the newer type of brushes that are coming out that, um, I don't know, kind of seem like hair brushes. They are really great brushes because they are very dense, they don't absorb a ton of makeup. A dense foundation brush is what you really want because it's not going to soak up or leave streaks all over your face. Another brush is the more traditional style 
style brush that is also a dense brush. Basically, it just needs to be dense, but not too stiff, and then also not too flimsy, otherwise you will get the streaks. If it's too stiff, it's just not gonna move the makeup around very well. For this video, I will apply the foundation on this side of my face with a beauty blender, and on this side of my face with the traditional brush, since this is usually the brush that most people have or are easily accessible. So I'm going to just Put this straight onto my face. Another thing I forgot to mention is that you should have clean hands as well as a clean face because you don't want to be putting bacteria onto your face from your hands. So I just rub in the foundation a little bit just so that, I don't know, it's just, there's no real reason. I just do that. So like I said, on this side I will do the beauty blender. First of all, this is wet. You want to have a wet beauty blender or a dampened beauty blender and then squeeze out all the water and then just pounce it on your face. Make sure to bring it down your neck a little bit and over to your ear. You don't want to look like you have a mask on. Bring it up into your hairline as much as possible as well. And just keep pouncing until you feel like your makeup looks even. I love this thing. So on this side, I am going to use the traditional brush. This is a buffing brush. So again, it's dense and it will rub in the makeup. You don't want to apply too much pressure, so you're just going to take your brush and just literally buff in circular motions. And then swipe down your neck and to your ear. Again, you don't want a mask. Obviously, in the center of your face you can't really buff, but you do want to swipe down and out. You can also stipple the brush on your face if you feel like you're seeing any lines. I don't see any lines, but I definitely want to show that to you guys. And there we go. Once you've put on foundation, the next step would be concealer, and that will be in my next how-to video, so stay tuned for that. If I have already done that video, I will link it down below for you. If you want to skip concealer, which is also fine, you would then set your face with a translucent setting powder, or if you want even more coverage, you can apply a foundation powder on top of your foundation for higher coverage and to set your foundation. I personally think all foundation should be set. Some people don't set their foundation. If you want your foundation to last all day long, you should definitely set your face with either a translucent setting powder or a powder foundation. Foundation is usually a liquid or cream. If it's not a powder, obviously this is for cream or liquid foundations. They are usually cream and therefore they have a damp, creamy texture to them. If you touch your face and you didn't set it, then you're just going to be moving the foundation around. Your oils and if it's hot and sweat and all that, it's just going to come right off much faster. So if you set it, it'll just lock it in, in place for much longer. And you will be able to blend your makeup a lot more seamlessly. Foundations, when they are not set, when you go to put on bronzer or highlight or contour, the brush will kind of stick a little bit and it'll make the makeup skip and your makeup will look patchy. So definitely set your foundation if you want it to last longer and look better. I hope this video was helpful to you and that you learned something today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye guys!